Just believe his word tonight and open up your heart and receive from him tonight. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The name of the Lord is strong time. There is a name, there is a name. Name that is above every other name. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We give her glory. There is no other name that remains that can be saved. But by the name of Jesus, there is healing. Say. If you're sick in your body, just touch your body. And begin to call on the name of Jesus. There is healing in the name of Jesus. Let the rhythm of the Lord begin to cry out tonight. As we call upon his name, right where you are, just begin to call upon his name. For there's deliverance in the name of Jesus. Does anybody love the name of Jesus tonight? Anybody love the name of Jesus? Sing a great chorus, a glory to his name. to worship him down here on earth but I'm so glad that when I get to heaven I'm going to worship with the angel and the 24 elders as we sing holy to his name
name of Jesus. All knowing name of Jesus. Saving name of Jesus. Deliverance in the name of Jesus. We love it, we love it, Jesus. Jesus, we love it. Call your name Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Hallelujah to your name. Say. Hey. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone who believes in it.
hallelujah lift your hands inside and outside say lord visit me tonight lift your hands and just speak to the lord say lord step into my life step into my destiny enough is enough do something remarkable make sure you are praying that's why you came tonight there's no distance there's no barrier in the spirit whether you're inside whether you're outside whether you are the back it really doesn't matter Come on, bless him. He has many things for you tonight. Amazing things by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. 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 The wonder walking God doing great things in the midst of his people. And we give him all the praise. As we worship you. Let all the world come and see How the mercy we receive from you can set them free As we worship you Let all this joy that fills our hearts Bring a hunger and a hope to those who stray so far as we bow in adoration and stand in reverent awe, show your majesty and glory that your anointing falls. We declare your name, Lord Jesus, as the only name who saves. May the power of your salvation Fill each heart we pray As we worship you Come on, lift your hands and worship Him This is our testimony in this place As we worship you Sing as we worship you As we worship you as we worship you hallelujah thank you jesus you do wonders in our midst you do wonders in our midst You do want to see in our me. Make sure you're worshiping Him. Faithful God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sing, you do wonder. Sing, you do want to see in our me. Mighty, you are mighty in this 
in one minute we're getting straight to the business of the night lift your voice and cry to the lord tell him what you came here for tonight say lord enough is enough tell him to take over lord my health that HIV will die tonight. Pray. Say, Lord, it's time for that cancer to go. It's time for that terminal disease to leave. That yoke must be broken. That salvation must come through. Make sure you are talking to the Lord. Say, Lord, I'm tired. I came here with a holy anger tonight. Shapakata pokata balakapakata. Rembra to kapali adai. The Lord told me tonight is a night of testimonies. The Lord told me tonight is a night of testimonies. Not just a few. Tonight is a night of mighty visitations mighty visitations mighty visitations cry your heart to your maker you didn't come to see joshua selman it is not given unto me to help any man lift your voice and cry unto the god of wonders Tonight is a night of testimonies. Refuse to let the Lord pass you by like the woman with the issue of blood. Say, I will touch the hem of his garment. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I announce to you that God is going to do mighty things in this place. It will be a quick walk. There is no delay. We are going straight to the business of the night. I tell you, the Lord told me that tonight will be a night of testimonies. I will not speak to you if God has not told me. Throw away unbelief. It has been stopping you from receiving. Throw away unbelief. The Bible says, blessed is she that believes. For unto her. Is there anything too hard for our God to do? He created the heavens and the earth in seven days. How long will it take him to change your situation? Hallelujah. I'm full of faith and I know that God will visit you. Thank you Jesus. For you will visit us. You will visit us hallelujah i want to welcome all the people who have come from various parts of this country thank you for coming we prayed for you hallelujah this is our june miracle service we will experience the god of wonders tonight i assure you it doesn't matter what your situation is if it has a name it will bow tonight in the name of the lord jesus and if you do not have your prayer requests please make sure you have your prayer requests very quickly when we start we're just going to run it through hallelujah for those of you outside i'd like you to give god a mighty shout of hallelujah hallelujah praise the lord hallelujah means praise the lord and the bible says let the people praise him then shall the earth yield her increase those inside can you shout praise the lord praise hallelujah praise god listen i want you to receive tonight receive tonight the power of the holy ghost 
is present to heal to change hallelujah his presence is in this place hallelujah bring the lady shouting outside strings strings please strings Jida kapa labrando kopra su bataba lada basi daha. Jida kate brati kalabani. Distant shores and the islands will see your light as it rises tonight. Distant shores. And the islands will see your light as it rises on us. Distant shores and the islands will see there's nothing as glorious as his presence. Great are you, Lord, you're greatly to be praised, all the earth will sing. Father, you reign, great are you, Lord. Can you sing it one more time? Where are you, Lord? Where are you, Lord? You are greatly to be praised. All the earth will sing. Father, you reign. Where are you, Lord? Greatly to be praised. Hallelujah. Listen, the first thing you need to know tonight, listen to me carefully, is that you must believe that there is a God who is set to visit you. The Bible says, unto him, Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20, who is able, your God is not weak, your God is not limited. He's not intimidated by the size of your mountain. The Bible says in his presence, the mountains keep like lambs. It's the power of his presence. It was with the breath of his nostrils that he parted the Red Sea. And the river parted and became solid wall. You must realize that your God is great. Unto him who is able. Say after me, my God is able. Say one more time, my God is able. Hebrews 11 verse 6 says, For without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh unto God must believe must accept must come to terms with the fact that god is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him great are you lord i know you are greatly to be praised tonight we will see that father you reign Great are you, Lord. You are greatly to be praised. All the earth will sing. Father, you reign. You must believe him. Many of you have looked at your situations for so long. Some of you came here with terminal diseases. It's eating you. There's physical evidence. Some of you have come with oppressions. Doctors have told you they're the best. You've come with impossible situations. 
will you take your eyes tonight away and look up to the mighty one you do mighty things you do glorious things you're a faithful god awesome is your name you do mighty things you do glorious things you must believe that God is able it's not enough to believe that he's alive it's not enough to believe that he can heal and deliver you must believe that he can meet your need you must believe your need is not so big hallelujah say I believe in God you must believe in him I believe in you I believe in your word and the power of its truth I believe in you so I lay down my cross that the cross might be found in you say after me my God is able number two you must believe in the vessel that he will use to bring you the miracle it's not enough to believe in God you must believe in the vessel hallelujah the power of the Holy Ghost is so strong strong and mighty mighty You must believe in the vessel. Second Chronicles 20. The prophet said, believe in the Lord and you shall be established. He said, but believe in his prophets and you shall prosper. It's not enough to believe in the Lord. You must believe in the vessel that he will use. Hallelujah. Human beings have always been the carriers of God's anointings. Vessels of grace. There are certain levels of grace. You don't fast your way into it. It's an election of grace. Hallelujah. The Bible says he led captivity captive. Ephesians chapter 4. It says he gave gifts unto men. Some apostles and prophets and pastors and teachers and evangelists for the edification of the saints that they the saints will do the work of the ministry that together we will come into the fullness of the stature of the measure of Christ and he gave gifts unto men and he gave gifts unto men I have found my servant David and with my holy oil have I anointed him it's not enough to believe in God you must believe in the word that comes from the mouth of God. Everybody say, I believe. Number three. You must believe and receive your miracle by faith. Mark 11 verse 24. Jesus say what so things ever ye desire when you pray he says believe that you have received it there is a difference between receiving and having he says oh I thought they projected it believe that you receive then you will have it receiving is of the spirit having is the experiential manifestation it says when you pray you must believe receive it it is yours in the now 
listen the bible says receive and have therefore i say unto you what things soever ye desire what do you desire tonight whatsoever miracle you desire whatsoever breakthrough whatsoever deliverance you desire it says when you pray believe that is yours believe it receive it receiving is by faith receiving is by faith it's not a physical reality you don't receive physically you receive by faith then you will have it in the glory i will stand i will stand and i will lift my hand in the glory we receive every miracle you have for us in the glory tonight we stand we will stand and we will lift our hands it's in your glory we will receive every miracle you have listen you will never have in the physical what you do not receive in the spirit are you listening to me you will never have in the physical what you do not receive it said when you pray it didn't say believe you have that will be lying believe you receive and you will have it number four You must take action listen we call koinonia intimacy but not just intimacy partnership a participation with the holy ghost hallelujah it's not entirely left to god to change your situation it's not entirely left unto you the bible says listen to me that when they came to jesus christ jesus came and went to a pool called bethesda that had five porches and the bible says he saw a man who had been laid there for 38 years hallelujah when he saw that man he told him that would he want to be healed and the man was grumbling and complaining and he did not bring his miracle are you listening to me grumbling and complaining does not produce miracles hallelujah and the bible says that jesus told him john 5 verse 1 to 9 you can read it it says take up thy bed hold on how can jesus tell a crippled man to take his bed it is a people assist him he said you stand up take your bed and walk home in other words if you believe me to be powerful enough take action faith is not faith until there is an action hallelujah acts chapter 3 paul i mean peter and john on their way to prayer the hour of prayer the bible says and then they saw this crippled man from birth sitting at the gate beautiful hallelujah acts chapter 4 verse 1 to 9 and the bible says that he looked on to them expecting to receive arms he did not know that his time of visitation had come and peter said silver and gold we have not he said but such as we have see there are people that have something let me tell you something not everybody is a noise maker there are people that have something it's an election of grace at what point did peter know he had something because the last time the bible tells us he was sinking he was not sure he had something but now he said uh -uh, it's not peter it's something i have something and such as i have give i 
He said, in the name of Jesus. Oh, this is the inheritance of the believer. In the name of Jesus. He said, rise up. Do you know the man did not stand? He was just looking because there was no action. The Bible says, listen, this sign shall follow. It will not go before them. It will follow. The signs follow. They listen, your faith initiates signs and wonders. The woman with the issue of blood began to speak. She said, this is my conclusion. If only I can touch the hem of his garment. I don't care who is going to stop me. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, Peter, helping his faith to work, held his hands and lifted him. And the Bible says, and he leaping stood. Hallelujah. As the word of God comes, don't sit down wondering. That's the time to say thank you, Jesus. That's the time to celebrate. That's the time to check yourself. Check the tumor. Don't say, I don't want to embark. No. That devil that has been oppressing you, as the word of God comes, you receive it and you begin to take action. This is the last time. That terminal disease, I wave you goodbye. You are gone for good. Partnership. Hallelujah. How many of us are ready to receive tonight? I know that God is going to do mighty things. It's going to be very, very fast. Very, very, very fast. Hallelujah. Very, very fast. Ushers, if it's possible, please start collecting the prayer request because we don't want an interruption. If you don't believe prayers are answered in this place, please don't write anything. You will not go to hell. I will reverence you, Lord. I will reverence you, Lord. I will reverence you, Lord. For in your presence there is life everlasting. I will reverence you, Lord. I will reverence you, Lord. Hallelujah. Please pass your prayer requests to the last person by your side. Ushers coordinate them. Let's do it. Hallelujah. Please pass it quickly. So we bow as we enter the throne room. Lord, we cast ourselves down at your feet. For you are holy, thou art holy, there is none like you. For in your presence, that is where I must be. Now, Changing everything 
in obedience to Christ. He's healing everyone in obedience to Christ. It's in obedience to Christ. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The one who does these great things. Tonight, let no man be worthy of praise. Let no man be worthy of honor. Alpha, Omega. For the things that you will do in this place, I give you praise. Because you always hear me. Whenever I call him, he will answer me. Elijah called on him and he answered him. The apostles called on him and he answered them. This is why I know whenever I call on you, you will answer me. Listen. Let me teach you something before I begin to minister. You can never be more confident than your secret place will give you. Are you listening to me? The secret place is the place of authentic power. The confidence of a believer is in the derivative of your knowledge. The Bible says, let the wise man not glory in his wisdom. Let the strong man not glory in his strength. He says, but let him that glory at glory in this, that he knoweth and understandeth me. I know that there are many men and women of God here who have come from different places to catch the fire. And this is why I'm saying this. Listen, this is not about jamboree. There is a real person called the Holy Ghost. He's not a myth listen you will never be able to walk in miracles until you believe in the reality of this personality that he can find expression in the midst of his people hallelujah praise god jesus saw tears and wheat and he gave us a verdict he said the enemy has done this can i announce to you that there is a devil that will not relent over your destiny until you put him where he belongs hallelujah praise the lord the bible says upon mount zion there shall be deliverance and holiness and then the sons of jacob after that deliverance will possess oh there is no possession until there is a separation between light and darkness hallelujah oh the powers of darkness that have tormented you while I prayed the Lord opened my eyes and I saw a lot of torments that are keeping people where they are listen the Lord told me something he said for everyone I was talking with my sister earlier on and she was just sharing her desire to receive and I, I went to the Lord about it and the Lord said that all you need to do tonight that's what he was telling me he said if you speak it i will confirm it that's what god told me hallelujah when god told me i started writing a list of the issues i know in people's lives because i've been receiving text messages some of you sent me text messages angry about some situations and my god told me he said if you will speak it i will do it tonight I tell you the truth and I lie not believe the Lord he will surprise you tonight please listen there are some of you I must say this when we mention your case or any issue that has to do with you please don't waste the time of others hallelujah 
don't waste the time of others struggling and then coming very shabby very complacent we'll just jump you is that agreed because we want to see how we can use the few minutes we have to really do a quick walk in our life hallelujah thank you jesus lift your hands as we worship you see the rain of your love feel the wind of your spirit now the heartbeat of heaven let us hear just lift your hands i didn't ask you to sing feel the rain of your love see the wind of your spirit now the heartbeat of heaven let us hear we see the rain of your love feel the wind of your spirit please lift your hands when i begin to sing let it rain there will be deliverances let us hear so let it rain or shall spring them out let it rain Open the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain. Let it rain. The power of the Holy Ghost moving across this building. Yeah. I see a lot of chains chains demonic oppressions the power of God is already moving but we are going to shout the name Jesus listen listen every time the Lord shows me this I see angels and I see the movement of the angelic right now at the count of three I want you to shout the name Jesus many of you will literally feel like electricity running through your body and those devils there is no hiding place tonight are you listening to me how many of you believe there is no hiding place tonight there is no hiding place at the count of three my god you will confirm your word everyone under any yoke any spell any enchantment at the count of three let the power of god Bring such a one inside and outside. Let the angels of the Lord move at the count of three. Are you ready to shout now? One, two, three. Oh, I cast out devils. Go, 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 go. I expose the power of darkness. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost, let the fire of the Holy Ghost fall. Let the fire bring her. Leave her, leave her, leave her, leave her. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost. So protect it, Satan, get lost, Satan, get lost.
power of God will come on some of you. You will run out here by the influence of the Holy Ghost. No man will stop you by the influence of the Holy Ghost. It's the fire of God. It will happen to some people from outside. Outside, the fire of God is falling and even inside. But I want you to know, as I begin to chant in the spirit, there's no hiding place for any devil tonight. So get take a part Lord, let your power move. Every power, every force of darkness. I release the fire of the Holy Ghost. Let it fall. I release the fire. Leave them, leave them, leave them, ushers. Leave them alone. You will come out by the power of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost will bring you out from your seat. The Holy Ghost will bring you out from your seat. The Holy Ghost will bring you out from your seat. The Holy Ghost will bring you out. some of you that see men come to sleep with you in dreams and oppress you they call it spirit husband and spirit wife i don't care what the name is right now there is fire lift your hands everybody responsible for failure responsible for delay listen listen at the count of three the lord showed me in a vision this one will hit many people. Tonight is a night of deliverance. Many of you do not know this is what is responsible for your setback. I already see angels standing in front and outside. Listen, it's going to, you know, you will not be able to stand it. It's a fire. Are you ready now? At the count of three, some of you will not finish shouting Jesus. Lord, I pray. You said if I can speak it, you will do it. I stand under this apostolic unction. Every manifestation of the devil at the count of three. One, two, three. Go for Russia. Regressio. Go for Yeta. Oh, my God, oh, my 
For this purpose was the Son of God made manifest that he may destroy, put to an end. The power of God is still falling. I tell you, devils are under major attack. That pose attack. The angels are walking. Don't wait till you fall down. Receive. Don't wait till you fall down. Has nothing to do with falling. Yay! was a sound that I had in the spirit that's why I'm singing it yeah. 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 yeah hallelujah bring her it's time for her deliverance I command you to come. I command you to come. Don't force her. She will come by the power of the Holy Ghost. Come. Come and stand here. Yeah. 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 Listen. A scripture entered my spirit. It said, how awe-inspiring are your ways. Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemy submit when light enters you it makes you a madman tonight is a night of major deliverance major 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 yeah. hallelujah leave her alone Stand there. Stand there. Yeah. 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 Listen. Listen to me. Everybody look at me. Please. The word of God is not a lie. God cannot be joking with you. Anytime you take your Bible, I told God my life and this ministry will be a demonstration of the book of acts is the acts of the holy ghost sir king salama salama he's called the prince of peace hey. salama yeah. hallelujah leave her alone be still, stand in one place now. Your time in this body is over. Your time in this body is over. Now, in the mighty name of Jesus, out of her now. Come out of her. Out of her. Out. Come out. The fire of the Holy Ghost. He make it his angel spirits and his ministers flames. Leave her now. She's free. Your time is up. This is Koinonia. The mighty name of Jesus. Come out now. Out of her. Listen. 
listen the lord is showing me an arrow coming from outside this country this is what affected this boy this thing has tied this gentleman's life leave him leave him come back here come back here now sorry everybody come back here many of you listen many of you do not know that wickedness is real you have allowed films to distort to to spoil your mind if you don't take i tell you whatever is stopping one of the things i will be doing tonight is breaking the curse of marital delay oh the devil it will answer tonight look at it's already happening come out come out this guy has a violent spirit a violent spirit the mighty name of jesus every lecker hole you have over this body i challenge you right now you will leave him the fire of god is against you it's time for you to go out out of him out shall the captives be delivered and the prey be taken from the mighty but thus saith the lord let her go right now thou foul devil come out come out so pray take a barrier the balada la sarkin salama 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 hallelujah hallelujah listen let me tell you what the lord is showing me about this gentleman this guy listen listen please this guy has a very very colorful destiny but do you know what i just saw from his head to his toe how many of you have read the story of Lazarus? That's what I saw. And he was tied with snakes from his head to his toe. This is what I'm seeing right now. See, do you know that the challenges many of you are going through is not ordinary? It's because nobody has told you. But tonight there is a God to set you free. This is spirit husband. This is what is stopping this lady from getting married. Out! Come out of her! Out! Now! In the mighty name of Jesus! Your time is over. I'm seeing an army officer. I'm army officer. In the name of Jesus. Come out! Come out! Shekataba! Brentoko Prikata! Out of her right now! This is the spirit of lust. Go pros ketaliada! Be gone! There is no hiding. I tell you something. See, the mistake the devil made was to allow you come in here tonight. I don't care whether you are wherever. If you came here tonight, if except God lied to us in the Bible, but if He told us the truth, there will be a performance in your life tonight. Sirkin Salama. Come out out of her right now salama salama listen let me tell you what happens in meetings like this some of you because of this demon spirit the one to start pushing you to go out or to run away you, you better stay and let God help you. The devil is a liar tonight. Are you listening to me? Okay, I didn't finish with this guy. Watch what will happen to this brother. He's not looking at me. Oh. He's not looking at me. Just calm down. Stay in one place. I'm not speaking to him. Don't worry. 
stay in one place you can't go anywhere you come here this is a, the head of a snake i'm seeing right to his foot in the mighty name of jesus christ the fire of the holy ghost sets you free right now from your head to your toe i lose you i lose you he's going to cough out something outside take him outside he's going to go and cough out something Sarkin Salama Salama eh, Salama eh. Come out of her right now in the name of Jesus Devil of darkness Sarkin Salama Salama there's someone that has a problem a heart problem heart problem that was your request heart something in your heart i don't know what it is the lord is showing me please remember i told you don't waste our time please there's a lot of things we have to do this night heart something pertaining to your heart if you are still thinking about it you are not the person please quickly Salama 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 Hallelujah Ah uh, ah uh. See There is a lady Now don't feel embarrassed at what I'm about to say You see snakes in your bathroom Ladies bathroom Who is that person? Come out Come out this has been an issue. You have not shared it with people. Snakes, you have you see it. Who is the person? Please. Salama. Salama. Yeah. You are not the only one, no. You are not the only one. This is the problem. God, God is ready to deliver you. Look, this is a family. Are you listening to me? This is not this is an apostolic ministry so there is we are here we are a family when god is mentioning your case forget about what what issue of shame issue of shame is out of the way hallelujah what's wrong with your heart asthma, asthma. is asthma really a heart this one i'm seeing a heart problem but i'll pray for you be healed right now in the name of jesus christ be healed listen i'm going to pray for you people god is come out of her now out come out of her now devil of darkness the time is up just hold my hands with both of your hands the fire of god will hold it as tight as you can it cannot stand it will leave you because you are destined for greatness once i see it in the spirit it must go for light cannot hide in darkness Aha, I see you now. Out! Go! Go! Kapotoka! Reketaria! Mambroskote! Reketaria daba! Boseketalia! Out! Come out of her! Out of her right now! Sarkin Salama! Look at me. Two things God is doing. Hold my hands. Hold it. Do you believe? You want God to set you free? Sarkin Salama. Look at my eyes. You just look at my eyes. Try to look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Devil of darkness. Go! There is no hiding. For there is a name that is above every other name. What did she come out for? The same thing? Why were you afraid? Don't be afraid, eh? You hear? 
Hold my hands. Hold my hands. Both of your hands. Look at me. Can you shout Jesus as loud as you can? Go ahead. Salama. You are free. Salama. Salama, yeah. Be delivered right now. I set you free. Now. Do you know what is happening to this lady? If I tell you, some of you will not believe. For every shout that she's making is demons that are going. When she's done, she'll be quiet. <laughs> now, leave her. Fire upon you right now out of her this lady has a great destiny this is a snake this is what i'm seeing this is a whole snake mighty snake the lord is against you let her go now That is above all names. Hold my hands, my dear. Hold my hands. No, I'm not speaking to her. Don't worry. Come, hold my hands. I'm not speaking to her. Don't worry. You people do not understand spiritual things. You are spiritual people here. Come, hold my hands. The demon knows what it means, what I'm saying. Salama, yeah. Salama. Hurry up, please save our time. We, we don't have much time. Salama. Hold my hands. Don't tap it. Hold it. Out now. Salama, yeah. yeah. Salama. Watch the way this demon will live. Come, see. Listen. You will go on your knees. You will bow to the king of kings and go. Simple. You will go on your knees, bow to the king, and off you go. Sir King Salama. Salama. Salama, yeah. Listen, this is not jamboree. As I see my father do it, don't go and try it. You will die for nothing. This is not child's play. Hallelujah. Don't you think we're just, no, I'm not one of those ministers. I can't come and waste your time. God is too serious. Are you listening to me? Now lift your hands. Many of you do not know. Listen, please, now is the time to stand both for yourself. If you are a lady here, there is no reason why you should not be lifting your hands. marriage is a blessing it's not a curse as i as i talk as i talk because you see I, I see a sword of fire leaving my mouth i want to break certain demonic things many of you don't know what is stopping you and your loved ones for some of you is a role in your family many people have told you nothing just just hope one day no we don't do that nonsense in this place now faith is lift your hands hallelujah listen 
the moment we shout the name Jesus some of you listen you will testify whatever is happening to you here will locate all your loved ones around listen the reason is because there are ordinances of darkness that are keeping some of you your parents took you to places in the name of protection and that devil will not let you go the Lord instructed me to do this hallelujah if you are here or your loved ones there has been delay men come they go or maybe you have a child and you're thinking you will not marry that devil is a liar this night are you listening to me so don't just stand for yourself alone don't say it does not concern me don't be foolish hallelujah are you ready now you will see the demonstration of the power of the spirit Kai, because see i'm seeing blood i'm seeing blood dripping on the ground let me tell you what this means there are covenants and ordinances this is what the lord is showing me but my bible says the blood of jesus speaketh better things better things at the shout of the name jesus the demons responsible for any marital delay god you said if i speak it you will do it right now at the count of three it will hit some of you in a mighty way inside and outside lord let nobody be spared one two three is setting you free where you are yes 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 ordinances i'm seeing altars on fire altars on fire altars on fire altars on fire i set them if i be a servant of god right now i set every demonic altar on fire It will burn tonight. Ho proto koto, reke ho koto pre, so pre to ho pros, sheke pre kate, ne pros kote, reke te pros, sheke te, alas, alas. I release you. I release your family. I release you inside and outside. I release you. I release you into your marital destiny. The curse is lifted. I release your sisters. I release your brothers. That the fire of the Holy Ghost. I release you. I release you. 
I release you. Just receive. I release you. I release you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. I got a text from someone. I mean, they brought someone who was sick. Who was that person? I can't remember now. A sick person. No, they sent, I remember they sent me a text that they would bring the sick person. Please save our time for God's sake. We're still going to minister to the sick. Hallelujah. Let that lady go free. Now, devil, let her go free now. Let her go free. I release the fire of the Holy Ghost upon you. Let her go free right now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. Everybody say, I receive. Yes, it's happening to you. Now, please listen. I want to pray for terminal diseases terminal diseases all kinds of terminal diseases please you brought someone or you came here with a terminal disease come out quickly terminal only terminal diseases please let's save time can we do that god is locating people there are some of you god has, god is already terminal diseases please come out quickly 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 i beg you if you can run run save time please please as you come out here say lord it comes i hope you know what terminal diseases are healing rain cry unto god wave that sickness bye bye because it's going forever i'm not afraid Because of time listen can you just hold your hands together if you can I'll just minister to you at once please if you came here believing God then know that it will end hallelujah there is an angel standing here and there is an angel of the Lord standing here please listen when we begin to minister to the sick if we call a case and you came with the person please make sure you come especially if the person cannot speak English for our mothers so that we can hurry up okay the power of God will come upon some of you but it really doesn't matter that devil is going right now the spirit is called the spirit of infirmity hallelujah after a country you will say i am healed when that happens it's like electricity it will pass with power all around this place are you ready now 
One, two, three. Go, Porto. Be free. Go, 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 go. Coming out this is go. Go, 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 go. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Go, go. Go! Come back with testimonies. Come back with the testimony. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Come back with the testimony. 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 Come back with a testimony. I speak to you, all of you. Come back with a testimony. Come back with a testimony. Hallelujah. Say, I'm healed. Go back to your seats. You can check yourselves. Please make sure you check yourself. Go to the hospital if you need. I know someone with HIV was healed. Anyone who has been, anyone with any CG, see the power of God is, is breaking from inside. Some of you are outside here. Yeah, you are not receiving. People inside are receiving and they are leaving you. Listen, anyone with any academic issue that Senate has refused to answer between now and the next 14 days, I command them to answer. Anyone who is at the verge of probation, listen, anyone at the verge of probation, I pick you from where you are and I bring you back as a student in this school. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I want to pray for you. Any cause you did not fail. Listen. See, believe oh, any cause you did not fail, but you went to the board and you saw F. I change it. I said I change it. Man to kapala kuzita. I change it, Kato Pratishi. I change it. Hallelujah. Any man, I don't care who, who is molesting and oppressing people in every in any department or any faculty, whether supervisor or whoever, I instruct them to begin to favor you now. Hallelujah. Now listen carefully. Those inside, can you hear me? Can you hear me? I'm standing out because I want those outside to appreciate this meeting. Now I'm going to pray for you. Some of you, I'm seeing chains on the heads of... We are dealing with academic issues now. Hallelujah. Listen. I want you to lift your hands. Many of you will feel like fire burning your head. If that... Wait. I'm going to count three. When that happens to you, Listen, this one will affect a lot of people. There are some of you that are first class materials. But because of this wicked thing, you were excellent in secondary school. It's not that you are bad. Let me tell you, those days will be restored. Because listen, listen, listen. I'm going to pray for you. Hallelujah. When I count three, inside and outside, with all your heart, shout, I receive. For some of you, that will be the last thing you will remember. Something will happen to you that will change your life. Are you ready now? Please, with all faith. One, two, three. Receive it now. Receive it. Take it. I restore you. Take it. 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 Inside. Inside. Take. Receive it inside. Receive it inside. Outside. Receive it.
receive it inside take it inside take it inside at the back inside the angel of the lord is touching people at the back outside here at the back take it take it take it take it take it take it hallelujah hallelujah let me tell you something many of you will go back now and your academics will surprise you yeah. hallelujah now listen 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 i want all of you to think about a cause that has been troubling you because i'm about to make it to bow now just listen listen i'm walking as god is just just think of it in your mind just once and bring it under the lordship of christ because i'm about to open i'm about to tell it to open up for you are you ready it's already happening to this sister now listen every department every faculty in amadu bello university that course that is threatening you right now when i shall bow many of you feel as if your head will open up are you ready now in the name of jesus Bow! 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 In the name of Jesus! Bow! Bow! In faculty of medicine, bow! Faculty of engineering, bow! Environmental design, bow! Education, bow! Social sciences bow. Sciences bow. All the faculties in Congo bow. Every other faculty bow. Anyone with a missing script. Problem of missing script. I stand tonight under this unction and I command wherever your paper is where except you didn't write that exam wherever your paper is just as the donkey of kish was found i command that paper to be found now <laughs> hallelujah for all those whose assessments have been bad listen for this exam for all those whose assessment have been bowed have been, are bad in the name of jesus i release makeup test makeup assignment in the name of jesus may the lord touch the hearts of the lecturers no matter how hard they are hallelujah all of you shout i will excel Say it one more time, I will excel. Say, excellence is my portion. Say, I refuse failure. Say, I refuse failure. I take you from past, from third class. I take you into, some of you are addressing, let me tell you, any class you need to step up, I step you up right now. I know some of you are doubting. Do not doubt the creative power of God's word. It created the heavens and earth. I said I stepped you. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For all those, whether you or your loved one, they've been writing jam after jam, wayek after wayek. You are looking for papers it has refused to come if god be god if there is a god in this place listen those of you who are about to whether jam whether de you have papers that you need to make up i stand as a servant of god i give you the paper you are looking for those writing jam i prophesy write your last jam in the name of jesus those writing whether wayek or whatever to make up 
and there are some of you who are about graduating but the papers you have are causing trouble and right now you already have problem at the senate mercy 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 you must graduate you must graduate let something be done in your life that has not been done in this school god is visiting people thank you jesus god is opening people's files i tell you god is visiting people don't stand there doubting god will bless others and leave you hallelujah hallelujah everything called mental blockage or exam fever all this nonsense that comes on people you will read and even do tutorial for others in the name of jesus that spirit that makes you to forget things in the exam hall that you will only remember after you finish right right now i cast that spirit in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus you cannot read like a slave i forbid you from reading like a slave in the mighty name of jesus I tell you god is visiting people in a mighty way this night god is visiting people in a mighty way hallelujah in your academics i don't care how bad it has been i don't care what has happened from today step into that that dream you saw that your your results has never looked like it you have been seeing it enter the reality of it Many of you have dreams. You see four points, but you write exam and see one point. I curse that devil in the name of Jesus. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I tell you, God is visiting people. Hallelujah. Now, please, everybody who is sick. You came here with any kind of disease. I'm about to rebuke it right now, please. We don't have time. Our time is fast spent. But God is going to visit inside. Are you still with me? Are you still with me inside? Now, those outside here, I want, I want to pray. Everybody lay your hands anywhere is hurting. If it's a part of your body, you cannot lay your hands on, lay your hands on your chest whether fibroids whether growths whether cancer whether blindness whether deafness whether lameness whatever it is i don't care if it followed you here it made a mistake because it's going to leave you right now are you listening to me some of you what you call sickness is actually oppression because i see that there are many ladies with all kinds of sicknesses people think you are careless you are not that devil will leave you hallelujah some of you have hiv it's not like you slept around you too you don't know how it came some of you have all kinds of cancerous growth there are people they've told you 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 cannot I, I, after i finish this i'm going to specially pray for barren people hallelujah praise god now listen all of you inside lift your hands lift your hands for that healing i'm going to count three and the power of god will begin to come on sick people just those inside those inside hallelujah the angels of god are moving inside i see them at the count of three inside i tell you many sicknesses will disappear right now the moment i count three just take that hand and lay it where it's hurting and start receiving your miracle are you ready one two three receive right now take it by the power of the holy ghost now lay your hands there receive your healing right now Receive your healing right now. Many of you are feeling like electricity. It's the healing anointing of the Holy Spirit. It's going through you. Begin to do what you couldn't do before. Those outside now, lay your hands there. Are you ready to receive? That devil will not follow you. Now in the name of Jesus, those outside here, receive. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. Growth disappear. Terminal diseases go. Asthma go asthma go every deaf ear be open now 
every blind eyes be open if you are here and one leg is shorter than the other let the other one grow out now to equal sizes in the name of jesus every lady problem every woman problem irregular menstruation ends now 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 the fire of god is burning i tell you the fire of god is burning every lump in the breast disappears now disappears now disappears now every growth in any part of your body every growth i cause that growth to its root right now in the name of jesus i cause that growth to its root right now in the name of jesus thank you jesus any pain in any area of your body i rebuke it any trace of mental disorder whether for you or for your loved ones wherever they are and if you are here let the power of god touch you now let the fire of god touch you now let the fire of god touch you now let them go let them go out 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 every kind of mental problem whether it has manifested or not out 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 go go every curse every covenant hallelujah hallelujah now any woman here or your sister or you who has been barren please connect now is the time we want to release miracle children right now i don't know whether they have been barren for 10 years 20 years 30 years the bible says and god opened the womb of anna listen i want you to stand you are a lady here you live the promiscuous life and then you found out that okay some things happened maybe you lost your womb or something god is about to give you a new one right now i don't care what the problem is hallelujah praise god i want to curse barrenness and impotency low sperm count all this demonic infertility whatever i don't care if it has a name is going to answer this night are you ready everybody inside make sure you are with me hallelujah praise the lord whether for you or for your loved ones right now my father in the name that is above all names lift your hands i pray there are some of you listen some of you do not know that there are already projections of barrenness on you it's just that you have not married yet so don't say until you are married the devil is wicked god brought you to set you free you'll be surprised hallelujah inside and outside you're going to shout jesus and God is going to visit some people. There are some of you, God will visit you not for you, but on behalf of other family members. And I tell you, you will see people take in. Are you listening to me? Do you believe this? At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus and you'll see what will happen. Are you ready? Thank you, Holy Ghost. At the count of three, let your power move across inside and outside. Are you ready? This will happen to many people because there is the curse of barrenness. And standing for anybody at the count of three, shout it with all your heart. Are you ready? One two three take it take it take it take it take it supokoto rekete keriata barriness go 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 inside inside fire fire is falling inside outside fire is falling the cause of barriness tokoto peketa for your loved ones every barren woman receive children receive children receive children any impotency whatever it is low sperm count infertility whatever it is in the name of jesus i curse it now by the power of the holy ghost thank you jesus please stay with me
Hallelujah. I want to pray and prophesy. We want to talk on the issue of finances right now. Everybody stand up and take this very seriously. We apologize for the lightning. I believe that maybe some hitches here and there. We'll soon round up. Hallelujah. While this is happening, please let's have all the prayer requests outside here. Look at me. See, listen, look up. The secret of financial blessing is in your giving life. Are you listening to me? I don't care what you are doing. The secret, if you are not a giver, whatever you are seeing now is only a deceit. It won't last. Are you listening to me? I want to minister to you. How many of you know that God is not glorified in anybody's poverty? How many of you are tired of the situation of some of your family members? You know, you know what? Some of your parents, one job here, two months, they've driven them away. This is a curse. The problem is that pastors like sugarcoating things. They just say, oh, it's well. There is a difference between faith and foolishness. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, I want to challenge you. Everybody, please hold a seat. Bring out a seat. You know us in this place. If you don't believe, don't bring it out. I want to break the curse of poverty. Don't you think, please, I, I, if you have something, share with your neighbor. Please, please, please. Bring out a seed. Don't murmur and grumble. Just keep your seed back, please. We are a blessed people. We are a blessed people. Look at me, look at me, sister. Look at me. Tell her to look at me. Look at me. Just tell her to look at me. Don't worry. Leave her. Look at me. Come out of her, devil of darkness. Ah, leave you alone. Praise God. See, while I was praying for this meeting, I saw this. Please listen. I saw a particular family. This is a revelation that the Lord showed me. And I saw them around the river. Hallelujah. Around the river with 500 naira. I don't know. I, I'm not going to mention them so that you don't think maybe I'm talking about a church or a ministry. We don't do that. But I saw some people seeming men of God or whatever around that they were trying to do something about financial prosperity. You see that? They killed chicken. They killed one other animal. I think goat or something. And they were invoking things on the person and the lord said save this family i saw it in the vision that the lord showed me there is nothing we will do here that god did not instruct hallelujah please if you do not have a revelation of this keep your money you won't go to hell hallelujah praise the lord bring out something and connect it i want to pray for you you will lift it up hallelujah inside and outside just lift it up Kai, people are oppressed ah, people are oppressed listen just lift it many of you the fire will fall on you and your sacrifice it will fall on you. see it is poverty i want to attack it's a spirit don't be mistaken about it it's already happening to people everybody lift it please make sure there is a seed it will be your contact clash the symbol for me please at the clash of the symbol are you ready now my father i pray it's your desire to prosper us people have suffered families have suffered right now spirit of poverty go 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 keep the offering up go Go, 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 go. For your family, I burn that spirit of poverty. It's a curse. Leave God's people. Poverty causes laziness. Poverty causes lack of failure. Lift your seed. 
is your sacrifice my god and my king if god be god i pray poverty be broken in the name of jesus be broken jobless go 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 hallelujah to me my people made a covenant with me by sacrifice i command those of uncommon unusual inexplainable financial prosperity let it be open now for you and for your family that joblessness ends now mm, god is visiting families god is visiting families any contract that has been revoked right now by the power of the holy spirit i return it back to your loved ones the curse of poverty be broken don't say i'm a student become rich in the name of jesus become rich blessed wealthy i program your spirit as surely as the lord lives God is visiting people. Twenty-one angels standing in this place. I don't know what I'm seeing. I'm seeing it, the whole of this place. The whole of this place. Lift your hands because God is about to visit you. Some of you, it's not just financial issues. God will join everything and visit you. As soon as I shout, receive it right from here down to this row this is what god is showing me the power of god will come in a strong way lift your hands all of you in the name of jesus at the count of two just two the wind will blow one two let it blow right now take it 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 don't wait till you fall this has nothing to do with falling it has nothing to do with falling receive by faith hallelujah the lord is visiting people i don't know what the case is but when i touch you just know god is visiting you in the name of jesus in the name of the lord jesus in the name of the lord jesus the angels of the Lord are pointing people to me. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Aha. Now out of her. Come out. Come out of her. Shekotopa. Your time is up. You are a spirit. Out. Out now. Pain go. Come out. Supokotopekata lekata. Dombretons kebanda kriata. Lord, visit them. Ushers, help me. Visit them. Please help them. Help them. Ushers, so that they don't fall down one another. Visit them. Visit them. Zidaba. God is visiting your mother right from the States. Oh, no, in UK. God is visiting her right now. Hallelujah. Madam. God is about to locate you. Stand up, please. Stand up. Your time of breakthrough has come. Come and stand here, please. I don't know you, but look at me. Three things the Lord is going to do for you. Number one, God is going to change your financial story in a way that will surprise you. Number two, who is sick? Somebody is seriously sick in your family. It's my husband. I have. It's your husband. 
because this is what I'm seeing. This is what is sugar? Sugar. Yes, yes. What is sugar? What is sugar? I'm hearing sugar. Diabetes. Diabetes. Yes. Do, do I know him? Have I met your husband? I'm hearing sugar. The Holy Spirit is telling me sugar. Diabetes. Is that correct? I'm going. I'm BP. BP. I'm BP. Look at me. The third thing God is going to do. Uh, are you building? Are you building? Madam, look at me. Yes. Are you? Yes. The Lord is saying that building will be completed. Yes. These three things. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? Because you have lifted this seed. Many of you. See. Father, visit her right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Visit families by the power of the Holy Ghost. Visit families in the name of Jesus. See, I tell you, I'm not going to touch everybody. But if I do touch you, just know that God has visited you. It doesn't matter what the situation is. It will bow to the name of Jesus Christ. Bring this sister for me, this one. Yes, come. Did I lay hands on you? It's time for God to visit you. Are you listening to me? Take it. It's over. Whatever it is, it's over. Right now. This fair lady, come. Please. I don't know what is it. Come. Don't see. You people should not be angry at God. God, it, I must not touch you. Do you understand? You can see that we don't have all of the time. Eh? Look at me. I'm going to end a lot of things in your life. Seven things in total. One by one, God is going to show you. Five of them. You wrote, you wrote seven prayer points. Yes, sir. How many prayer points? Did you? Seven. The Lord says seven things He's visiting you and He's bringing on. Was I there when you wrote it? Seven things you wrote. Seven things the Lord is visiting them. Lord, that is it. It ends right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Seven things the Lord is visiting you. Somebody wrote 13 prayer points. 13. 13. 13. You wrote 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 13. Who is that? Come. You are the one. Come. Was I there when you were writing it? 13 prayer points. 13 prayer points. What did you write about your father? My family. Peace in my family. Peace in your family. There is fight. Was I there when you wrote it? What did you write about the issue of money? Last week when I went home, my sister was complaining that there is... Because I'm seeing the Lord is showing me your prayer points. That's why I'm reading it to you. Was I there? There's no money. You went home. Even transport to come back. Well, not somebody. Somebody gave me a lift. This is, I, I, God said I should do it to prove to you that this is not just guesswork. My God, in the name of Jesus, locates this lady. Your situation ends once and for all. Regina, 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 Regina. Who is Regina? Regina. Ah. No, Regina. Don't miss your miracle. You are Regina? You. Ah. No, this Regina is here. Your name is Regina. Where is your mother? What's wrong with her? Pray for your mother. Huh? Because this is an attack I'm seeing on her. Huh? This is an attack I'm seeing on her. Be careful. Don't let any lecturer talk stories and ask you to come and visit him in the night. Does it make sense to you? Yes, sir. Does it make sense to you? Believe it. Huh? And then get into God with all your heart. Are you listening to me? I want to pray for you. This lackadaisical like Christian attitude become a genuine Christian right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Grace to pray. Grace. Taiwo, God is visiting your mother. Just look at me. God is visiting your mother. Lord, visit her in the name of Jesus Christ. Right from here. Just as a point of contact, God is touching her in Lagos. Visit her in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Visit her. This, this girl, eh? Bring this lady crying. Lord, end this captivity in the name of Jesus. 
this lady's family do a lot of diabolic things are you listening to me and they have put they have put things in this girl as a medium this girl you are seeing she's not the person you are seeing standing here hmm? this girl is very old she's not as young as you are seeing as in i mean in the spirit realm i'm seeing somebody that's up to 800 years old hallelujah are you saying look at look at this bring her this is what is wrong they they invoke spirits of ancestors into this girl come and stand here because they did it in such a way listen they did it in such a way and this is the invocation that no matter how much you are a man of god you will not see it this is what they did look at i've seen it i'm seeing it in the spirit look at this is why this cry is happening they, they programmed it i don't know how it is many men of god have attended to this lady they didn't see it i don't know why because as i'm standing now i'm seeing a tree this is a tree i'm seeing a very tall tree keep quiet this lady you see she doesn't even know if this lady gets angry she can beat even five guys put together I listen to me she, 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 she I mean beat you and put you on the ground that you will cry even her right from a small age she has been seeing this strange power this is not normal I need to rebuke that some of you are like that you just think it's your family you beat all your classmates in nursery school beat all your classmates in. you are happy about it hallelujah I have to set this girl free I'm seeing rings on her legs rings on her hands huh? ring on her eyes even on her eyes here what kind of nonsense is this rubbish thing hmm? keep quiet it's noisy spirits you will go out now in the mighty name of Jesus hmm? keep quiet keep quiet huh? two of us won't be talking you are going to leave there is a legal access that is given to you but the bible says the captives of the mighty shall be delivered and listen leave her please leave her don't hold her look at me listen behave yourself right now i'm going to rebuke this some it will create a ripple effect on all our family members because they mentioned their names as they were killing chicken this is what i'm seeing one by one they will mention their names and kill chicken leave her leave her leave her leave her come back just leave her she will come back by herself this thing is more than 800 years this is what i'm telling you am i wasting your time Am I wasting your time? Leave her, leave her. When she's done, she'll come and stand here. These are demonic things. Don't be distracted by all this drama. Let's concentrate on what God is doing, please. Mama, come. Come and stand here. Your time of visitation has come. I don't know what you came here for. Eh? your time of what did you come here for you are barren is that yes sir you are barren how many years 13 years i'm seeing one and three mm -hmm. how many years? 13 years 13 years you have been barren your 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 situation has come to an end <laughs> hallelujah lay your hands on your stomach what did the doctors tell you is in your stomach nothing they will do scan nothing but you are feeling movement in your body yes, yes sir yes sir in the night when you are sleeping it will be as if a man wants to sleep with yes, sir. a man comes to sleep yes, and it has even affected your relationship yes sir eh? you don't even have affection for him yes, yes. do you know me no, have you ever seen me no. your time of freedom has come this night Because this is what I'm seeing. 
I'm seeing a stone, a stone inside your stomach. You used to have pain when you sleep. Sharp pain. This is a stone I'm seeing. Hmm? This thing is a demonic thing. Lay your hands. I open this womb right now. Let the womb take in by the power of... Take it right now. All right, it's time for you to go. Now, in the name of Jesus, I challenge you, come and stand here. There's no time. See, demons can distract. If you waste time on them, they are going to distract you. Are you listening to me? All these things are distractions. Learn this. This is not just a place to receive. It's a place to learn. Many people focus. I'm not against all of but it's not necessary. We don't have all of this time. Are you listening to me? Come and stand here. Quickly come and stand here. It was finance, right? Okay. Let God solve somebody's problem right now. Listen. I release you into financial blessings. 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 Hallelujah. Pastor Jakes is going to come. Bishop Stan is going to come. They are going to speak prophecies into you. Hallelujah. I wish we had time. But as they speak, please receive. Hallelujah. They will speak while I go up there. When they are done, we'll come and pray on your request. Can you wait a few more minutes? Can you wait a few minutes? Pastor Jackson. Okay, please, ushers, just cast your offering. Cast your offering quickly. Ushers, all over. If there are no ushers, just be patient. Inside and outside. Please make sure you drop your money to only ushers. Hallelujah. Please lift up your hands. There's no time. Joining hands with Bishop and as we pray, whatever you desire, okay? Whatever giftings you've been trusting God to unlock in your life, whatever dimension of God you've been trusting God to push you into, as we pray corporately, the presence of God and the oil of God will be poured upon you in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you in Jesus' name. I give you praise in the name of Jesus, even as you have declared through your servant. Lord, as we cast this seed, may it be an end to poverty and financial hardship in the name of Jesus. You cause doors to be open for every family represented here in Jesus' name. We stand in agreement and rebuke devourer in the name of Jesus. Devourers in form of sickness, in form of accident, we rebuke you in Jesus' name. We set everyone free. Enter into your financial liberty in the name of Jesus. Marital liberty in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me invite the ministers as we pray on the request. If you've not written your request, please write it here quickly. I want to, after this, I'm going to be inviting Uneko and his wife who are going to be dedicating and praying for their child. Hallelujah. And any other woman with child here, you're going to come out with your child. We're going to pray and speak protection after I do that very quickly. Hallelujah. Please. Very quickly. Stretch your hands while you are seated. You don't need to stand up. Stretch your hands as we pray on this request. Go ahead and pray. Father, we pray that you visit your people. Visit your people, O oh God. Visit your people. Visit your people. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, visit families. In the name of Jesus. 
grant every spiritual blessing that your people are asking for. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. We pray that every prayer point here, Lord, is answered in the name of Jesus. We release the angels of God to bring answers and solutions to needs in the name of Jesus. Let breakthroughs come, academic blessings in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for businesses. We ask that prayer points here about businesses, that the Lord will open up doors in the name of Jesus Christ. We ask for healing. We release the healing of God upon your lives in the name of Jesus Christ. We bring salvation into your family. The Lord visits your family in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord blesses you with peace joy in the name of jesus christ of nazareth refreshing comes from the presence of the lord refreshing comes from the presence of the lord in the name of jesus christ of nazareth every closed gate is open in the name of jesus christ of nazareth every dark cloud is rolled away in the name of jesus christ of nazareth father we thank you we give you praise we celebrate you in our lives in the name of jesus christ of nazareth hallelujah put your hands together for the lord Hallelujah. Please quickly, quickly, quickly. All the children, quickly, quickly. Please save time. We just have about five minutes or so and we're out of. Celebrate them as they come if you know God will give you children. Please come and line up here quickly, quickly. Great are you, Lord. Greatly to be praised. All the earth will sing. Father, you reign. Great are you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, let me pray. Please, Uneku, come up with your wife. How many of you remember them? Worship team. Come on, celebrate your own. Technical, celebrate your own too. See, they're all seated together. Is that where they met? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everybody stretch your hands towards them. This baby is a miracle baby. I tell you. I was there in the hospital. I didn't even know the baby was on the bed. I said, where is the baby? Hallelujah. Stretch your hands and pray. Rebuke the hand of Satan. Do it as though you are praying for your own child. Rebuke the hands of Satan. This baby is blessed. Growing normally. Daddy and mommy are healthy. In the name of Jesus. We dedicate this child in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. This child will grow in wisdom, in stature, and in favor with God and with men. We command this child to be an ambassador. We program his destiny to glorify Christ alone. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I pray for peace in this house. This will only be the first child and not the only child. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Pastor Jakes and Bishop Stan, can I invite you just to come and lay hands on these children? hallelujah as we lay hands, all three of us will lay hands you just lay hands i'll come back and lay hands on them as we lay hands on the children we rebuke the hands of satan we rebuke the hands of satan no let me lay hands on them before they go well we're, we're doing it all of us please very quickly these are instructions that god is giving we're not just doing these things carelessly any child any one child that has anything that is not of god we cancel it right now we cancel it right now Eh? in the name of the lord jesus may the lord visit this child let his hearing be perfected in the name of the lord jesus christ see how wicked satan can be in the name of the lord jesus christ these children are blessed where is he bring him the boy ran away because this boy wants to kill himself. It's the spirit that wants to kill him. Where is he? I tell him to stand, but he went. You see what I told you, spirits? He ran away to where? Wherever he is right now, in the name that is above all names, may the Lord visit him. You will go back and you will come and testify. 
Hmm? I'm seeing the fire of God on him. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord visits him. You are standing on his behalf. In Jesus name. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. Uh -uh. Come out of this girl. Devil of darkness. May the Lord bless you. Madam, God is really visiting your family. May the Lord... Ah, you came out for yourself or for your child. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I prophesy upon your life. Please stand up, everybody. We're rounding up now. every closed door in the name that is above all names i open it right now every door of failure and disappointment in the mighty name of jesus let that door be open now i pray right now Any voice that is speaking against you and your destiny, I command those voices to be silenced right now. Whatever is stopping your spiritual development, whatever is stopping your passion for God, one leg in, one leg out, I pray, I release encounters to your life. Encounters with angels. Encounters of heaven visions and revelations dramatic encounters with jesus christ i pray for the spirit of prayer may it come upon you in a mighty way who is this oh see the boy is back come look at me how are you the lord will set you free Huh? you love Jesus look at me look at me you love Jesus do you like what happens to your life huh are you tired of it look at me are you tired of it huh you want to be free from it huh madam it's not this boy that is doing these things are you listening to me this is a suicidal spirit huh this is demonic because this boy is destined to be great are you seeing and this is why the devil wants to destroy him. Hmm? Look at me, my brother. Why did you go away? He doesn't even know why he left. Hallelujah. The mighty name of Jesus Christ, that devil of darkness. Your time in this boy's body is over. The fire of the Holy Ghost against you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm praying for you right now. Who is Bulus? It's his uncle. Bulus is his uncle. Do, you, do I know Bulus? Where is he? Hold my hands. Father, I pray that the wickedness of men will not catch up with this boy. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, my God and my King, I pray for a dramatic visitation. Look at me. Look at me. Go to church. Join a fellowship. Huh? These bad guys that are around you, they will destroy you. I cancel your appetite for them. They are, they are, trying, to, they are trying to introduce you into wheat and all of this nonsense. You will not have appetite for any of these things. Mm -hmm. You will become an obedient and a respectful child. This hardened heart this night has been replaced with a heart of stone salvation comes to this family in the name of the lord jesus christ in the name of the lord jesus christ rahila who is rahila do you know anybody called rahila what is i mean well i'm hearing the name rahila this is your daughter come how are you my dear hold my hands see a mystery i'm going to be praying for you but is that your sister that is going hold, hold on don't tell me 
I don't want you to tell me. Hmm? Don't tell me. Don't worry. That's your sister there. I'm seeing light. It's leaving you and it's entering. I'm going to pray for you. But the prayer is going to affect her. Hold my hands. I set you free right now. I set you free right now. Lose, lose her from that chain. Be loose right now. Let the fire of the Holy Spirit... There is deliverance going on in your family right now. I don't know why this is happening, but God is bringing you. Forward. Thank you, Jesus. Brother, look at me. Please be a gentleman, okay? Be a gentleman. Love God. Be serious with your life. You are a healer. Well, you came out. Let me pray for you. The, the Lord is not giving me anything exactly. What do you want the Lord to do for you? Ah, you don't know. I'll just pray generally for you. Come. Is that okay? Lay your hands on your chest. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I command favor to your life. I command favor. Favor favor is one blessing that the lord has given us here i release it into your life right now yeah. whatever has been a challenge for you may god speak it yeah. listen when god speaks over your situation that's all it ends if you are here i didn't call your case but you came with an expectation right now in the name of jesus i pray for you may the lord visit you at that point of your need every habit here that is not of god masturbation pornography all of these devilish things that are destroying people i cast it out of your life forever i cast it out of your life forever it will not return again i cast it out i cast it out of your life every form of immorality that stops you from entering the dimension god wants to take you i release grace upon you to walk in genuine holiness and purity in the name of jesus christ i pray for your parents and your loved ones as god visits you here may he visit them as god visits you here may he visit them in the name of the lord jesus christ as we step into the seventh month may it be a time of perfection for you may it be a time of perfection for you may it be a time of perfection for you what you have not accomplished from january to june accomplish it in july i command promotion i command promotion all of you in ministry i pray that you will see a greater anointing in your ministries i release greater fire in your fellowships in your churches in your ministries let devils be casted out let the sick be healed let sinners be saved in the name of the lord jesus christ i command increase and expansion for ministries here in the name of the lord jesus christ all of you planning for marriage i command whatever resource you need i release it for you even if the man has not come i bring him into your life even if the woman has not come, I bring her into your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, inside and outside, this is an opportunity for those who have never given their hearts to the Lord. Please stand up. Everybody keep standing, please. Hallelujah. The greatest miracle that can happen in this place is that you are translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of God's dear son. You have seen the miracles and all of these things. But there are many of us that need to make a decision for the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And right now, as we begin to clap, I'll count one to five. Praise God. Inside and outside, please give them space. Inside and outside. I want you to come before the Lord here. You've never given your heart to the Lord 
or you made a decision for Jesus once. You made a decision for Jesus once, but you found yourself derailing. Please come out and stand here in the name of Jesus. Please leave your seat and come out. Appreciate them. They are coming. God bless you. Please rush, rush, run, run, run. Don't be afraid. God bless you as you come. God bless you as you come. Don't be ashamed inside and outside. God bless you as you come. They are coming. Koinonia, celebrate them. Outside, make sure you don't stay back. Don't let any devil rob you of the greatest blessing. Keep coming, keep coming. Young and old, keep coming. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. For you alone are worthy to be praised, so we bless you. You alone are worthy to be praised, so we honor you, Jesus. So we honor you, we give you praise, we worship you, Jesus. like a dew that comes from Mount Hermon and rests upon Zion. For there the Lord has commanded his blessing. Hallelujah. The Lord has commanded his blessing in Zion tonight. Father, we ask that your word will come with life and power to change and to transform. We ask that you change us. You cause us to be transformed by the power of your spirit. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for victory in the air. Thank you for victory in the air. We give you praise. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'd like you to take your feet. Just tell your neighbor you're welcome to the house of God. And take your seats in heavenly places. Hallelujah. Lord, we give you praise. We thank you. The Bible says, but thanks be, thanks be to God who will give us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. That means the victory that we get and we walk in in life comes only through our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I destroy for lack of knowledge. So because you have rejected knowledge, therefore I have rejected you. From being priest unto me. Isaiah chapter 5 verse 13 said they have gone into captivity because they have no knowledge. So it's not because God has not given us the victory but because we have not come into the knowledge of that which God has worked for us in his son Jesus. Colossians chapter 1 from verse 13 the Bible speaks it says God has delivered us 
from the kingdom of darkness and translated us into the kingdom of his dear son he said in whom we have redemption through his blood even the forgiveness of sins so we have been translated from the kingdom of darkness from the authority of satan into the kingdom of god's dear son John in Revelation chapter 5 speaks and he said, God, Jesus has redeemed us unto God by his blood. By his blood we have been redeemed. That means Satan should not have authority over the life of a believer. The Bible says for this purpose was the Son of God manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. So God wants us to understand every day that the works of the devil has been destroyed. Jesus is not going to come again to destroy the works of the devil. He has done it once and for all. The Bible says he's the high priest for us who has come and blotted out our transgression once and for all. That with the blood of lambs and bulls could not accomplish because of imperfection. Jesus has become the perfect high priest for us say for by his stripes you are healed say for he, he was wounded for our transgression he was bruised for our iniquity and the chastisement of our peace was upon him that means that which it takes for us to live a life of peace amplifies also say a life of prosperity say the chastisement of our peace that means the requirement for us to live a life of peace and prosperity the word translated peace here means a state of well-being a state where nothing is missing and nothing is broken in your life the bible says what it takes for you to live that kind of life christ has accomplished it so it's amazing how god's people are still held bound by the power of sin by sickness by disease by failure by poverty by lack Jesus said from the beginning it was not so. So God came to redeem a people unto himself. That means God bought us from the slavery of Satan. From the dominion of darkness. He bought us by the precious blood of the Lamb unto himself. As a people, a royal people. We are called to show forth the praises of him. Who has taken us out of darkness into his marvelous light and so as a child of god your responsibility is begin to is to begin to ask yourself and you begin to check the word of god to see how much am i walking in this victory that christ has accomplished for me how much victory am i enjoying in my life how much victory am i seeing in my life if i'm not seeing victory in an area of my life it's not because god is not true it's because it takes light it takes revelation and so the cry of the believer is to come to a place where perpetually you have been flooded by light so that our eyes will be flooded by light when there's no light in a place there's the possibility of stumbling because you can't see if, if i should stand here and perhaps you are the entrance the door there and i'm giving you something extending something to you i'm giving and i'm saying take but because you can't see because there's no light for you to see you will never receive that which i'm giving you and so god god's arm is wide open god is extending the bounties of redemption to his people but because we do not have light to see because our paths are not flooded by light so we cannot walk to god to receive that which god is offering us and so if i'm sick today it's not because christ has not accomplished what it takes for me to walk in victory in my health it's because the light that i need to shine on my path to walk to the lord and receive my healing has not come to me so i can stand here and the lord's arm are wide open extending healing to me but i'm not even seeing him i'm not even knowing i don't even know that the lord is standing extending healing to me why because darkness is before me that's why jesus said you will know the truth that means you will receive the light 
that you need to walk in freedom. The Bible says, Awake thou that sleepest, and Christ shall give thee light. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 14. You say, Awake thou that sleepest, that Christ shall give thee light. And so if God has accomplished everything that we need for a fruitful life, everything that we need to fulfill our divine purpose in God, we need light to shine on our path. We need to be able to see that which God is offering us perpetually. If we ever search the world today and find out that prosperity is yours, healing is yours, it's not because God is just giving you the healing now. It's just because you are discovering now that healing is yours. But over 2,000 years ago, the arms of the Lord has been wide open. So Isaiah lamented, he said, who has believed our report? And to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? It means every time we search the word of God and we find out the reports of God for our life, and we believe it, we'll see the outstretched arm of God. You'll see the arm of God stretch out on your behalf. So where we just read verse 4 of chapter 4, verse 4 of chapter 5 of the book of John. It says, this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. And the Bible tells us that faith comes by hearing and by hearing by the word of God. So until we hear, faith comes by hearing and understanding by the word of God. Until we understand that what God is offering us, real Bible faith is not born in our hearts. And when Bible faith is not born in our heart, victory is far-fetched. So this is the victory that overcomes the world, our faith. So our faith is that victory. Our faith is that victory. That's why it's very important that we go for light. And that's why God brings up, that's why God put a meeting like this. That's why God raised a ministry like this. That's why God gave us gifts in the body of Christ. Why we say he gave some to be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, pastors, and teachers. What for? For the equipping of the saints for the work of the ministry. So that the saints can be built up. So that the saints can be edified. So that the saints can see that with God has accomplished for us in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. In the book of Colossians chapter 2 from verse 14, the Bible says Jesus, by his death on the cross and his burial and resurrection, he blotted out every unwriting that was written contrary to us. He took them and nailed them to the cross. The Bible says he spoiled principalities and power. He made an open show of them, triumphing over them in victory. So Jesus did not triumph over principalities and powers for himself. All that Jesus did was for us. Imagine a man who goes for battle and he comes back with spoil and he's offering the spoil to his wife. And his wife is not willing to receive and the man said don't you understand that i went for this battle because of you i was battered i was stabbed i was fired and everything i went through was just for you just to bring the spoil to you and you can't even receive the spoil that i'm offering you no man wants to be in that position no husband wants to be in that position but the bible tells us that we are the bride of christ and so everything that jesus did he did it for his bride he did it for his bride just to show his bride that he loves her so the torture the oppression the Bible say he bore our sins the father had to separate from him it was that time that we saw that the father was separated from Jesus and he cried saying Eloi Eloi lama sakbatanai my father my father why has thou forsaken me that means the father forsook him just because of us because he bore our iniquity upon himself so everything jesus ever did he did it for the church and until we allow him to to give us light to see that which he has accomplished for us even though victory has been given to us we will not walk into it experientially 
So on the legal side, like some theologians will say, we are healed, we are delivered, we are prosperous. But experientially, not every one of us seems to be walking in this reality. It doesn't mean God is not saying the truth. It's that the church needs to come to light. And that's why Paul was praying that the eyes of our understanding will be enlightened. That we'll know what is the hope of our calling. To what hope have we been called? What is the purpose why God called us? He called us unto victory. He called us unto victory. He called us unto victory. Hallelujah. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 23 says, Guide thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. The message says, keep a vigilant, it says keep a vigilant guard over your heart, because that's where life begins from. So everything that God wants to bring us into God starts by revealing it to our hearts. And that's why we must keep a pure heart before the Lord. That's our hearts must be open when we are listening to the truth of God's word like this. So that light can shine into us. For God who commanded light to shine out of darkness has shone in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God as it is revealed in the face of Jesus. So the light is revealing in our hearts. And so we must do everything possible to keep our hearts to keep our heart from walking with philosophies of men the bible says don't let any man spoil you by philosophies don't let any man spoil you by things that does not reveal the works of christ in redemption for some of us when you sin and you do wrong against god you feel you must go through some punishment to justify that you have done wrong before the Lord. But God wants to bring us to a point where we understand that we cannot do anything in ourselves to add to that which Christ has done. His works are perfect. We are not going to add to that which Christ has accomplished for us. We only need to accept that which he has given us and begin to walk in the reality of it. Hallelujah. The Bible says in chapter 4 of the book of Romans that Abraham believed God. He believed God as the one who quickens the dead. He believes God as the one who called those things that be not as though they were. He believed in the word of God. He believed in the promises of God over his life. He didn't give room to doubt and unbelief. He believed that God is faithful. That if it's possible, God will bring life to this my child that I'm offering to him. He believed that. He believed in the works of God. And God accounted that to him for righteousness. For righteousness. Hallelujah. Bible says many are the afflictions of the righteous but the Lord deliver them out of them all the Lord deliver him out of them all so it doesn't matter what affliction you are experiencing in your life the Bible says, though the afflictions of the righteous are many but the Lord will deliver him out of them all Galatians chapter 4 verse 13 it says Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law being made a curse for us for it is written curse is he that hangs on the tree that the blessing of Abraham might come to the Gentiles in Christ Jesus and that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith that means the curse of the law has been broken from our lives if you read the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 from verse 15 down you see that God began to list to them what the cause of the law is. 
and we see that the cause of the law includes sickness include disease include lack include poverty include to them that they will be under the oppression of their enemy that's the cause of the law but it's only in christ jesus that that cause is broken it's only in christ jesus that that cause is broken so i want to tell you that it doesn't matter what oppression you're experiencing in your life if you believe in that which christ has accomplished for you then victory is yours because whoever is born of god is born to overcome the world is born to overcome the things that the people of the world go through is born to overcome the oppression the disease the failure the poverty that the world goes through hallelujah Ephesians chapter 5 says Jesus is raising for himself a church without spot or wrinkle or any of such things. And so Jesus is raising for himself a victorious church. He's raising for himself a people that when he comes to rapture, he's coming to meet people that are ready to meet him in victory. People that will say, oh dead, where is your sting? Oh grave, where is your victory? It's a people of authority. It's a people of power. It's a people of victory that God is raising. And so, saints of God, I challenge you that as you look at your life and you begin to see aspect of your life that does not depict that with Christ has accomplished for you. God expects you to become vexed in your spirit. God expects you to begin to search into the world until you see that which it takes for you to walk in your liberty galatians chapter 4 say and here as long as he's a child he doesn't differ from a servant though he be lord of all he will need to be under tutors and governors until the time appointed for the father the time that god has appointed for every one of us to begin to walk in victory is not in the next five years is not in the next 10 years is the time that your word comes it is time of your revelation when your revelation comes then that's the appointed time for you to begin to rule the bible said the word of the lord tried joseph joseph was bound by fetters until his word come until the word of god was fulfilled in his life until the revelations of god's word came and became a reality he could not walk out of that bondage so spiritual maturity is not a function of how long you have been in the church or how much time you spend really reading the bible but spiritual maturity depicts how much the revelations of god has become a reality in your life that's what proves that you are growing spiritually it's not that you spend countless hours praying it's not that you study the word for 20 hours is that everything that you see in the world becomes a reality in your life until the victory that christ has wrought becomes an experience that you walk in that you are not walking in spiritual maturity the bible says if anyone is is, is anyone suffering let him pray is anyone happy let him sing is anyone sick let him call the elders of the church let them pray over him anointing anointing him with oil and the prayers of faith shall save the sick the bible says even if he has sinned he will be forgiven now the elders of the church are not the people who have gray hair the elders of the church are people who are grounded in the revelations of god's word that can extend that that liberty that they are walking into to other people until you begin to extend the liberty that you have experienced in christ to other people then you are not an elder in christ and so god expects us to come to a point where the revelations of god's word become our experience so that we stretch forth our hands and deliver the oppressed hallelujah praise god and so in the kingdom of god we rule by revelation we rule by light we rule by how much the word of god has found a place in our hearts you have said, for with your heart you believe unto righteousness and with your mouth confession is made unto salvation that means until the word becomes a reality seated in your heart and you begin to confess that which has been revealed to you 
then you will not walk in that salvation the scripture here is not just talking about your born again experience how that you confess the word of god unto salvation no the salvation that god brings to us is a continual salvation that's why first peter chapter 1 verse 5 says having the end of your faith which is the salvation of your soul that means we are supposed to be walking in perpetual salvation every day salvation is not just that you are born again no that's your spirit your spirit is born again but as you walk with the lord you are supposed to be experiencing salvation every day you're supposed to be experiencing his soterial every day your soul is supposed to be experiencing the redemption of god and your body and everything that pertains to you i would say god has given to us all things that pertains to life and godliness through the knowledge of him that has called us to glory and virtue wherefore he has given to us everything that we need he has given to us everything that we need say grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of god and of our lord jesus christ that means how much grace is multiplying your life how much peace you experience in your life is a function of your knowledge of christ that's why paul said that i may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering so grace and peace and victory and prosperity is multiplied unto you to the measure to which you know him to the measure to which his revelation is seated in your heart so if i want to see i want to experience more victories in my life what does that tell me it means as you go more for the light of god's word more light more victory hallelujah more light more victory more light more victory so if i ever see an aspect of my life that does not depict that which christ has accomplished for me what am i supposed to do i'm supposed to go back to the world and begin to search in the book of luke jesus gave a parable he said a woman who lost a coin and all she needed to do to recover that coin was to put up her lamp and pick her broom and begin to search that when she finds that coin what will she do she will rejoice and call her neighbor and her friends to celebrate with her so when something that christ has accomplished for me seems to be missing in my life what god expects me to do is to put on the light of the world and begin to search so when thou hast found it there shall be a reward and the expectation shall not be cut off that's proverbs 24 from verse 13. he said my son eat thou honey because it is good eat thou the honeycomb which is good to your taste so shall the knowledge of wisdom be unto you and where you have found it that means when you have found that which you are searching for in god said so there shall be a reward and your long expectation shall not be cut off you know looking through the life of jesus christ and his disciples you see that in as much as jesus was praying for his disciples in his closet but most of the times when jesus come to meetings like this jesus would take time to teach them the principles of the kingdom jesus was teaching them what it takes to walk a life of victory so that we're not waiting for that with christ as accomplished for us in the by and by we're not waiting to enter into the rest of god in heaven the bible said there remained the rest for the people of god there remained the victory of god for the people of god on the earth and everyone who enters into that victory into that rest that god has called him into such one has ceased from his works that means my life is supposed to be from glory to glory from faith to faith from victory to victory from one level of victory to another victory in christ there's victory for us in christ and that's why paul said thanks be to god who has given us victory through our lord jesus christ not thanks to god who has given us suffering but thanks be to god who has given us victory not that god is going to give us victory tomorrow but that god has already given us victory So we need the word of god in our life 
that's why you can't afford to just be living your life on philosophies and principles of men you must find your identity from the word of god you must find your identity from the word of god what does the word of god has to say about you jesus said I, I come in the volume of books as it is written of me to do your will there's something that god has said concerning you and until you find that in his word and begin to walk in that reality victory will be far away from you so god expects that when we find his word we begin to speak to that faith is a victory and until we begin to speak that which god has said concerning us we will not walk in the reality ephesians chapter 5 verse 1 says be ye therefore imitators of god as dear little children do you know what it means to imitate somebody it means to copy the person to watch the person do something and copy it and replicate it the bible says god collect those things that be not as though they were when god saw darkness when he saw darkness upon the surface of the earth all god needed to do was to speak god knew what he wanted and he declared and the bible says we ought to be imitators of god as the early two children for every one of us here maybe growing up as a toddler you learned how to talk because you saw other people talking because you saw your parents talking you saw other people maybe your other siblings calling daddy and mommy and you started saying it what, what, what were you doing you were imitating them and that's why if parents are godly it is natural that the children too if taught in the way of the lord should be godly because they will naturally want to imitate that which they see their fathers and their mothers do and so the bible says as children of god i like that part open it Ephesians chapter 5 You know, many times we need to just read scripture like this and meditate upon them. Old King James says, He said, Be ye therefore followers of God as their children. But I like New King James, another rendering, which shows is very perfect. He said, Be ye imitators of God as their little children. So God wants us to go into His Word and to find how God brings victory. And learn the ways of God and begin to imitate God. Why we say for the things that we see they are temporal, but the things that we can't see with our optical eyes they are eternal. And when God wanted to create the world, when God saw chaos, there was something that God was seeing in His heart. And when God wanted to release that which was in His heart into existence, all God needed to do was to speak so god is telling us that we ought to be imitators of him as little children because every time you try to relate with god as an adult you always miss it god wants us to come with the humility of children that's why when jesus was teaching and little children were coming to him and his disciples wanted to stop them jesus said no don't forbid them from coming to me for such is the kingdom of god that means people who will walk in the reality of the kingdom will be people who will come to the lord with simplicity of heart as children so the bible did not say imitate god as adults of god why because adults don't easily imitate people it's children that imitate people and so it takes to be a child to approach the word of god and say this is what the word of god says concerning me i believe it and that settles it and you begin to proclaim it with your lips until you see the reality of it that's the language of the believer that's how the victory comes the bible says the victory comes by faith and faith is not faith until we begin to proclaim that which god has said it doesn't matter how much how much harm satan has done around your life and your family if only you would dare to believe the word of god it doesn't matter how many people are not saving your family but if you believe that the word of god says as for me and my household we shall be saved then you will not keep quiet until you see the salvation of your household 
Say for they that call upon the name of the Lord, don't give him rest until he makes Jerusalem a praise on the earth. God has not called us to be a beggarly people. God has called us to be a victorious people. God has called us to be a people of victory. And we can't walk in victory until we know what the word says. Until we go back to God's word and begin to find out what does God's word has to say about this aspect of my life. Why am I not experiencing victory in this area of my life? Because the word of God is the manual of God for our life. It's God's own manual for us. The psalmist said, all of my body parts are written in God's word. And my days are written there in his book even before time came. That means if I go to the word of God, I'll find out everything that pertains to me now and even tomorrow. And all I need to do is just to believe it like a little child. I need to believe that with God says and begin to proclaim it. Be imitators of God. Be people who will copy God. People who will imitate God. People who understand that God is a faith God. And begin to speak the things that God has said by faith. So Paul in the book of Ephesians begins to tell us that we are seated with Christ in heavenly places far above principalities and powers. He said you need to understand this. He said even though that is a reality in the spirit but I need to pray for you that the light will flood your heart. Say so that you understand that you are not coming against the devil as though you are battling but you are coming from a settled position of victory. You're only coming to declare and establish that which has been done for you over 2,000 years ago. The Bible says, For wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, and against spiritual hosts of wickedness in heavenly places. So the Bible tells us that we need to be equipped with the armor of God. We need to know, we need to be equipped with what it takes to walk in victory because the enemy that we that is coming against us is not flesh and blood it's principalities and power and one of the major ways by which principalities and power put people in bondage is through stronghold in their mind through mindsets that's why god says don't be conformed to the patterns of this world but you need to be transformed how by the renewing of your mind that means there are certain thought patterns that principalities and powers have brought into the minds of people that has brought them into bondage and so god says our mind needs to be renewed that means we need to let go that mindset and embrace what god is saying when demon spirit want to put a people bound they don't go physically and, and hold you and tie you oppression first of all starts in the spirit when somebody is not born again already is a candidate for satan's oppression but next to that satan begins to hold people captive in their mind that's why the bible in hebrews chapter 2 verse 14 that says jesus came to deliver them who through the fear of death have all their life been held captive where did the captivity start from in their mind in their hearts I was studying God's word and God began to make me understand that the captivity of the children of Israel was not just because Egypt had a stronger military force than Israel but because of certain divination certain satanic and demonic strongholds that the enemy brought upon their minds and held them captive for that long such that they never saw the possibility of them ever coming out of Egypt and we can see that as they walk through wilderness that even though physically they were delivered from egypt we still see that they carry that mentality into the wilderness and they always tell moses please we want to go back to egypt we want to eat of the garlic the onions and the cucumber there was a territorial influence that held their mind bound so for many believers who are born again yes you are born again but you are walking in oppression because satan is holding you bound in your mind 
and all we need to be free from the oppressions of this of satan that brings us into captivity is to know what god's word says is to receive the light of god's word the only antidote to darkness is light so the bible refers to the kingdom of satan as the kingdom of darkness that means it's the kingdom where ignorance thrives but the kingdom of god is the kingdom of light is the kingdom where revelation strives so it's amazing that even though many believers are born again we still see people living in oppression we still see satan oppressing people with sickness with lack we still see satan oppressing families we still see satan oppressing churches and communities it's because many saints have not come to the knowledge of god's word we have not come to allow the light of god to shine into our hearts and so you see many people keep running from meeting to meeting for deliverance going from one place to the other hands are laid on you today for deliverance and after a while you still come back for that same deliverance you know what jesus said jesus says when the devil is casted out of a man he said he said the devils go to wander around you know you know desert and patch land and after a while the devil will come back to check and see if that house that person's life is clean and kept and garnished and prepared for him and the bible say when when the devil comes back and see that that house is unoccupied that that demon will go back and bring several seven other of his friends and the end of that person will be worse than the beginning you see many times we do not understand that as powerful as the anointing is in a meeting to break yokes and deliver people from sickness from all kinds of demonic oppression that just one encounter alone with the anointing is not sufficient enough to keep you in a life of victory and so people think all you need is to just come let hands be laid on you that's powerful it will bring deliverance for you but if you are going to walk in victory victory is not just a state victory is supposed to be a continuous thing it's not just a thing for now is where christ has brought us into so walking in that level of victory is not just going to come by one encounter by one encounter with the anointing alone that encounter will break yokes from our life but like jesus said that, that the enemy will always seek to bring you back into that same captivity and what you need to walk in that victory that has been given to you by the anointing is light Tell your neighbor is light. It's light. That's why the word of God is coming like this. So that we can know that truly Christ has delivered us from the curse of the law. So it doesn't matter what whatever kind of curse or oppression that is in your family. If only you will know by revelation that Christ has delivered you. Christ has set your family free. And then you begin to declare it with your mouth to establish it. Believing alone that Christ has brought victory to you is not enough. But you have to declare it to become a reality in this life. In this realm that where you don't just believe things to make them happen. You believe them and then you speak them. With your mouth, with your confession, you come into salvation. Proverbs chapter... 16 from verse 18 if you have your bible just open let's see the power of confessing god's word sorry proverb 18 from verse 20 the bible says, a man's belly shall be satisfied with the fruit of his mouth and with the increase of his lips shall he be filled death and life are in the power of the tongue and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof so receiving the word of god as you are receiving like this is not just enough but that you must be to declare that which god has said so that you walk in the victory for your belly for your life shall be filled shall be satisfied with the fruit of your lips so what is the fruit of your lips is your lips speaking life or death is your lips speaking life or death if your lips is speaking death then you experience death but if your lips is speaking life then you experience life
it doesn't matter for how long a believer has been bound all he needs is to come and have an encounter with the light of God's word all he needs is to experience an atmosphere of the anointing like this I tell you the anointing of God is in this place because the Bible says he sent forth his word and his word he led them and delivered them from their destruction so they cried unto him in their trouble and he saved them out of their distresses so the deliverance the the healing the salvation that God brings to his people he brings it by the power of his word why we say when Jesus was preaching and teaching the power of God was present to heal and to deliver so when people are oppressed when people are held bound and the light of God is coming to them suddenly the devils that hold them bound just see that they can no longer stay in that life and they leave if it's a thought pattern that has kept you bound as the light of God is coming, that yoke is broken. So many of you will leave this atmosphere and find out that you are experiencing a new level of freedom that you never imagined. Why? Because you came into contact with the anointing, with the word of God. Whatever is born of God overcomes the world overcome satan and overcome all that is in the world whatever is born of god for every one of us that is born of god the bible says we are bound to overcome the world we are bound to overcome satan we are bound to overcome the works of darkness for it was for this purpose that the son of god was manifested that he may destroy the works of the devil and God wants us to be an extension of that ministry of Jesus. That everywhere we find ourselves, we begin to herald his deliverance. We begin to herald his salvation. But until you have experienced that salvation, until you have experienced that liberty in your spirit, you cannot bring other people into liberty. Galatians chapter 5 says, We should stand fast in the liberty wherewith Christ has made us free. And don't allow ourselves to be entangled anymore with yoke of bondage so we have been free victory is ours but until the light comes you'll still be walking in that oppression hallelujah faith is a victory faith is a victory it doesn't need to feel logical it doesn't need to sense logical to you you see when god tells you to do something when the word of god says this is who you are it doesn't have to sense logical to you so many times we give reasons why we are where we are we see other people who are blessed and we feel it's because they are fortunate to come from wealthy homes you see every time you give excuses why things are happening to your life you will never move forward until you look at yourself and see that there's something you ought to know that you do not yet know and cry that god will enlighten your path certain realities that christ has brought to us will be far away from us so jesus is not going to be crucified for the second time he has been crucified once and for all hallelujah We're going to get ready to pray. We're going to get ready to pray. That every form of stronghold that holds people bound, whatever it is that the enemy has used to keep you from walking in the liberty that Christ has made you free, this is a night that you will declare your liberty. This is a night that you will tell Satan that I, I no longer, I'm no longer under your oppression because light has come to me because my deliverance has come because victory has come to me the bible says for there is no enchantment against jacob neither is there divination against israel why because israel is god's own son so whatever enchantment whatever divination that the enemy has released over israel the bible says it shall not stand for no weapons that is fashioned against you shall prosper 
for every tongue that rises against you in judgment you shall condemn so you see the power of speaking the word of god over your life and situation he did not say god will come down to condemn it because as far as god is concerned it has been condemned over two thousand years ago but you will be the one to speak it into reality now you'll be the one to speak it into your experience to condemn the works of darkness over your life Isaiah chapter 49 from verse 24 says shall the prey of the mighty be delivered or the lawful captive be set free say but thus hear the Lord God even the captive of the mighty shall be taken away and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered he said, and I will contend with them that contend with you, and I will save your children. He said, and I will feed them with their own flesh and cause them to be drunken with their own blood. There's an anointing in this house tonight to bring liberty. To establish many people in their liberty. There's an anointing for liberty tonight. There's an anointing for freedom tonight because light has come to you because the truth has come to you hallelujah for they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the words of their testimony so you're going to speak for your testimony tonight you're going to declare that which you know that Christ has accomplished for you. That's your testimony. Don't say, I'm waiting to find out I'm healed before I declare it. The testimony is that it has been done over 2,000 years ago. And the Bible says it is your proclaiming that testimony that brings you into the experience of that healing. Many times we say, testimony is when God healed me. And I come to the platform and say, I came into this meeting sick some few minutes ago. I, I was healed. There's a higher level of understanding to know what testimony is testimony is that it has been accomplished in Christ I don't need to feel like it but I need to proclaim it the Bible said that is that testimony that brings deliverance it is that testimony that brings liberty it is a testimony that Christ has accomplished in Jeremiah chapter 1 from verse 9 to 10 God came to Jeremiah and said I will put my words in your mouth he said I have set you over nations and over kingdom He said to uproot, said to root out, to throw down, to destroy, to build, and to plant. But it's amazing that all that many people know is just how to uproot, is just how to pull down, and how to destroy. But they are never taught that they need to plant and they need to build. And so you see people just declare, Satan, your works are destroyed over my life. Satan, I declare that my father is healed. I declare that deliverance come to my family that's beautiful you have declared that the works of death will be destroyed but what do you want to see it's not just to say i i destroy sickness it's not just to say i i destroy oppression it's not just to say i de i destroy lack but that you also need to plant something when you go to your piece of of, of land maybe you have a farm and you go to uproot the tongues and the tissues and the weed you have done well but that in itself is not enough you need to plant something so what many people do many times is to uproot that which the enemy has done but they do not establish something they do not build and plant something but god told jeremiah he said you have a two-fold mission is that you're going to uproot the works of darkness you are going to uproot and destroy that which satan has done over the lives of my people and you're not going to stop at that you are going to establish my council you are going to build something you are going to plant something and so this is a night to destroy this is a night to uproot and this is also the night to build and to plant so if you know that sickness is not your lot you know that failure is not your lot that's beautiful but you also need to know that victory is yours God taught me how to pray like this that you don't only have to destroy the works of darkness but you need to plant something because it's that which you plant today that you come and reap tomorrow 
so many times we just say satan take your hands off my family beautiful but what do you want to see in your family that after i declare that the works of darkness is broken over the lives of my friends over the lives of my neighbor over the lives of my family i'm going to declare that which i want to see in their lives and so the reason why many people do not see the liberty the victory that god has given us in christ another reason is because many people do not see the need to persevere The Bible in Luke chapter 18 speaks of a widow who came to a king. The Bible says even though he was a wicked and unrighteous king. But because this woman kept pressing on him, kept persevering and said, avenge me of my adversary. The king said, even though I'm unrighteous, I do not fear God or man. But lest this woman weary me by a continual coming, I will arise and give her that which she demands for. so we just know many people just know that victory is mine but they do not come to point where they begin to declare it and keep declaring it until they see it many times people think people speak and say faith is just declaring the word of god and you go to sleep but there are times there's a level of spiritual warfare that you keep declaring the word of god until you see the reality you will not stop say they that call upon the lord giving no rest that means you will not rest until you see your life conform to the patterns that God has chosen for you. Until you see your life reflect the victory of Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So are we ready to plan something tonight? Are we ready to approach the works of darkness in our lives? I want you to look at that area of your life look at that area of your family where satan seems to be having a field day and know that it's time to declare the victory of christ i want you to look at your body in case you came here with any infirmity and know that it's time to declare that by the stripes of jesus i'm healed it's not whether you feel like it or not but that's the victory the victory is seen by proclamation hallelujah i want to show us the scripture before we go on to pray second kings chapter 13. oh the bible says where the word of a king is there's power tell your neighbor where the word of a king is there's power second kings chapter 13 from chapter 14 from verse 14 the bible says elisha was falling sick of his sickness whereof he, he died and joas the king of israel came down unto him and wept over his face and said oh my father my father the chariot of israel and the horsemen thereof and elisha said unto him take bows and arrows and he took unto him bows and arrows and he said to the king of israel put thy hand upon the bow and he put his hand upon it and elisha put his hand upon the king's hand and he said open the window eastward and he opened it then elisha said shoot and he shot and he said the arrow of the lord's deriv deliverance the arrow of deliverance from from syria for thou shalt smite the assyrian in Aphek, till thou consume him and he said take the arrows and he took them and he said unto the king of israel smith upon the ground and he smote thrice and stayed and the man of god was wrought with him and said thou shouldest have smitten five or six times then thou thou hast smitten syria till thou had consumed it wherefore now thou shalt smite syria but thrice hallelujah this shows us the power of perseverance in prayer that there are people who have spoken over certain things that are in their life they spoke just once and twice and the mountain didn't seem to move 
and he just relaxed but just like elisha the prophet told the king of israel he said you struck just once twice and three times but you ought to have continued striking until you have destroyed syria so yeah some of you are saying i know what the word of god is saying concerning my life but i've been praying over it and i do not seem to see the victory that i want to establish god said perhaps maybe you have struck just three times but you need to strike until the king of syria is destroyed but you need to strike until the works of darkness is destroyed hallelujah i'd like you to get ready and be on your feet father we give you praise tonight we thank you we thank you because this is a night of victory and liberty we thank you because this is a night of victory and liberty i like the instrumentalist just go ahead and play for us i like you to know that this is a night of liberty i like you to know that this is a night to declare your deliverance with your mouth Shall the Bible said, Thou shalt declare it in and it shall be established unto you. And when men are cast down, you will say there's lifting up, and God will save the humble. This is a night to declare your liberty. This is a night to declare the victory that Christ has wrought for you. This is a night to look at that area of your life and say, Satan, the Lord rebuke you. This is a night to say, Satan, the Lord rebuke you. This is a night to say, Satan, the Lord rebuke you. This is a night to declare that Satan, the Lord rebuke you. For I overcome the world because I'm born of God. For I'm overcome the world because I'm born of God. I overcome the world because I'm born of God. And there was every area of my life that does not reveal the victory of Christ. I begin to declare victory in the name of Jesus. I begin to declare victory in the name of Jesus. I begin to declare victory in the name of Jesus. Victory is mine in the name of Jesus. This is the night to uproot. This is the night to throw down. This is the night to destroy. This is the night to build and to plant. For the arm of the Lord is being revealed tonight. For the arm of the Lord is being revealed tonight. For the arm of the Lord is being revealed tonight. Who are God mountain before the roof of hell? For thou shalt be made plain. Who are God mountain before the roof of hell? Thou shalt be made plain. Thou shalt be made plain. Thou shalt be made plain. Mountains are lifted tonight. Victory has been established. Victory has been established. Victory has been established. Come <laughs> on. 
is released tonight. Is released tonight. That spirit of praise and supplication is released tonight. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, my God. 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 O
Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.